Are we on? Are we rolling? Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. Um, I'm about to try something stupid. And it's either going to be super stupid or stupid cool. Earlier this summer, I was doing some bass fishing kind of around my local area on some local lakes. And uh, on my hummingbird side imaging, I came across what looked like a crib or a brush pile. And in Minnesota, you don't find many of those just because it's illegal to dump brush and the DNR doesn't really put out many cribs. Uh, so right now, I've got three different types of technology with me. Let me show you. Down below, I've got my Hummingbird Helix 12 and I got it rigged up to just a little Dakota Lithium here. This is giving me my waypoints from this summer. This is the waypoint I have marked directly on this bad boy. And then over here, I've got a tiny little aqua view. That's hopefully what I'm gonna identify and take a look at this with. And then obviously I'm gonna do all my ice fishing with my Vexlar. So I've got kind of a, a one, two, three punch, if that's a thing. I'm honestly betting against myself that this isn't gonna work. And I don't totally remember how deep water this was in. This could have been in like six foot of water. So maybe it's irrelevant, but uh, yeah, I feel like we have to try it. And it's just kind of an itch I have to scratch. So let's drill around and see if we can find this structure. All right, so let's try and get as close as we possibly can on top of this thing. I'm just gonna carry the hummingbird with me. And we are going to try and stand right on top of this waypoint. Okay, supposedly it's right there. I parked pretty close to it, supposedly. Okay, right out the gate, I think I'm just gonna check the depth and see if this is even worth my time. If this is in like four feet of water, no good, but I remember it being like seven, eight, I don't know. Okay, eight, eight foot isn't bad. I, I could deal with eight feet. All right, on to the camera now. This is an Aquaview Mini. It's a sweet little scouting camera and it can record, so I do like it for some video action. just gonna record right here hello hello all right we are dropping down Can't see much. Is that a big pike? What is that? Oh my god, there's perch down there. What is that? Is that a big pike? There's a perch. What is that? I can see the structure. See the see the structure? We're close to it. We're not right on it, I don't think. There's a perch. Oh, I gotta put my gloves on. Ugh. It's cold. Ugh. Okay. There's perch everywhere. Looks like a little bit of weeds, but a big log. Okay, so it doesn't look like super sweet, but I can definitely tell it's like a tree or a couple trees that might've fell down here. The thing is, is we're far enough from shore. I don't know how this would have got here. It looks big. All 
Alrighty, I just moved the truck. We got like a hard 15 mile an hour wind that's coming right out of the north, pulling right down through here. I'm just gonna put my little flip over right behind the truck. Should block the wind a little bit. If you are fortunate enough to have good enough ice to bring your truck out, always use it for a wind block. So after fishing about four hours into the night, um, things started to get pretty interesting. Uh, but the only problem was most of my cameras died kind of right before sunset and that's when everything happened. The wind picked up, everything got nasty, but I caught a variety of things that were pretty interesting. So after packing up my stuff and driving off the lake, I looked at the extended forecast and it looked like it was going to be anywhere from negative 10 to zero degrees with 20 mile an hour winds the next couple days. Which brings me to right here. Earlier this afternoon, I hooked onto the ice shanty. I drove right back and I set kind of a little bit outside that tree. Uh, the front of the fish house right here, that should be very close to the tree. And then the back of the fish house right here is right where it kind of drops off. So the front of the fish house is in like six foot and the tree is right in the tip of the fish house. And then behind me, this is kind of where it drops off on the break. So fingers crossed. I'm not going to tell you everything I caught last night and I'm not going to tell you the whole story of how it went down, but hopefully I can kind of replicate that tonight as I ice camp on top of the sunken tree. So fingers crossed things go well again. My cameras are charged. I have external batteries. I've got my Dakota lithium power packs. We're filming everything. So come along. If any of you out there are brand new to the channel, my name is Sam Sobey. Welcome. Uh, please subscribe if you're unsubscribed. We're doing a bunch of winter camping, ice fishing, and rolling everything over to the open water season, doing a bunch of fishing and camping too. So please subscribe, stay notified, turn the notifications on. I really appreciate it. But yeah, this is, this is the ice shanty that Steph and I bought maybe two weeks ago, and we've been loving it. I'll give you a quick walk around if you're brand new to the channel. This is a small 2010 six and a half foot by 14 ice shanty uh, in the corner. I've got a rattle reel, a little closet, kind of keep a bunch of random stuff in there. Over here, I've got an oven, stove top, a TV. We don't use that too much. Got to run the generator for that. Um, some cupboards up in here, keep a bunch of random junk. We got a Keurig machine in there for some coffee in the morning. And then over here, I've got my wall heater. And down there is forced air. Another rattle reel here. And since I'm kind of doing a little bit of filming right now, I'm not jigging. I just got two rattle reels down as I kind of bebop around here and get things ready for the night. I had one successful night here. I'm just, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to replicate it again. On the menu tonight for the fish, we have got a variety of crappie minnows and fatheads. I'll probably be jigging with some plastics and some silver wigglers. On the menu for me tonight is a little Kraft Mac and Cheese classic, but I'm gonna be throwing kind of my own little twist on it. We got a special treat in here. I'll talk about that later. And then yeah, as we go to the back of the house, this is the bunk bed up top here. Uh, I just kind of use that for storage since it's just gonna be me tonight. Uh, and then here is kind of a big bench slash couch slash table this pulls up to be a table and if you've seen the channel before and this is redundant i apologize but if you're brand new now you kind of know the whole setting and the situation this is the shanty first fish in the spot piker piker over the sunken log bye bye come back and eat it you're hungry you're hungry you're hungry. Two of them. Fish on. Felt like he up bit me. First crappie of the night. Not a giant, but those big marks I'm having down there, I think they're giant crappies. Sometimes the biggest crappies in the lake bite right at that, that witching hour right at last light, not even sunset, but like last light, half an hour after sunset. Big mark on bottom. Come on, 
dunk it. Oh, I just missed him. I think there's a big bluegill. Son of a Still there. Hit it. Hit it. He's gonna bite it. There we go. What do we got? You're moving into the log. Not a giant, but probably a good eater. But I'm not keeping tonight. I got a lot of fish at home. The gills seemed really finicky tonight, but the crappies are flying up and smoking it. Hopefully we get a big one. And I'm here to tell you, that's not all I caught on this log, was gills and crappies, so hang in there. Nice mark at the bottom. Nice mark at the bottom, come on. Bite it, nice mark, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Big fish. Fish on. I don't know what this is. Fish on. I don't know what the heck this is. This is not a crappie. Oh my gosh, you might spool me. I don't know what this is. This is heavy. I don't know what this is. Get this out of the way. Oh my gosh, I can't move. was a big mark. This might be a big pike. Oh my gosh, she might freaking spool me. Is he tired? Is he tired? I don't know if I have him still. This is weird. Oh, he's still there. It's like he just was coming at me. I don't know what this is. This has got to be a big pike. Come on. This fish is so heavy. Could be a giant walleye. He's so heavy. Don't shake your head like that. Nice and easy. Line is light. Nice and easy, buddy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, buddy. Nice and easy, buddy. Come on, buddy. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. Come on. I know you're tired. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh man. This is a freaking fatty. <laughs> He's not super big, but on two pound line, he felt ginormous. Oh. Two pound line. Wow. Pinhead minnow to the dome. I thought it was either a fat pike or maybe a 30 inch walleye. He is charged up. Look at how thick he is. Healthy son of a gun. 
Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's, um, yeah, let's maybe get one quick picture and then get him back. He's so freaking charged up. Easy, easy, buddy. got your bearings get on out of here now <laughs> at a big well I didn't catch one of those here yesterday but big sunken tree shallow I could see a big old fat pike rolling around oh, you son of a gun he pooped on the floor. All right, so fishing report really quick. We have caught some small perch, gills, crappies, a pike, and now we have the rattle reels down. So multi-species, check but size not check yet, except for the pike. Uh, but things have kind of quieted down a little bit. Prime time has passed. And then after that pike came through, it seemed like I wasn't marking much at all. That was probably a lot of commotion being that six foot is right here. And I'm only really sitting in 11 in the back of the house. So I think I'm just gonna let things settle down and it's time to make some dinner. So on the menu tonight, we have some Kraft macaroni and cheese, but we're going to spice it up with a very special treat, some of my dad's homemade venison bacon. I'm just going to probably cube this up, put it in with the mac. It's going to be tasty. If you don't like mac and cheese, then you are not a human being. And right on time, as soon as we start cooking, we've got something playing with the rattle. The sunken log has everything on it. Pike, crappies, bluegills, and even Billy. Dang, I thought it was a walleye. Later, Billy. Set a timer for eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes and counting. Should we check? Should we check what it's like outside right now? It is whipping. The wind is freaking ripping out here. The number one thing I think I love the most about the permanent ice shanty uh versus fishing out of a portable on nights like tonight is it's like it's blowing 20 miles an hour out there if i had my portable out there or if i was just hole hopping i'd just, just be getting beaten up obviously in a portable or hole hopping you can be much more mobile and i feel like you'll catch more fish but on a wicked night like tonight it's nice just to be hunkered down in here All right, and there we go. Venison, bacon, mac and cheese. The end product turned out a little soupy. I put a little too much milk in it, but that's okay. I might drain a little bit, but 
it looks good. And there ain't nothing better than a hot meal when you're out ice fishing. Well, once you know it, I sit down and I turn the cameras off and I'm just enjoying the freaking mac and cheese. I just caught a bomb. <laughs> Bombs and mac and cheese. I just started jigging again. Let's look at him real quick. He's a bomb. What does he, what does he go? Mouth closed right at 13 inches. <laughs> Bombs and mac and cheese. See you, buddy. I love that log. Have her from the sky. Good morning. The current time check is 6.44 in the morning. I woke up and it was kind of cold. I think I ran out of propane last night. I was just kind of on the last leg of that 20 pound tank, but I've got extra propane and I got a whole nother tank sitting right next to it. So I flipped the little switch over to the new tank and we are now cooking with oil. It's still a little dark out, so maybe I'll jig and make some coffee. But yeah, good morning. Now that's a good way to start the morning. Alright, it's starting to get light outside. And uh, that about wraps things up for me. I'll probably make some breakfast, pack up my stuff, and maybe head home. Uh, and then maybe spend a night back out here. But awesome evening. We caught, what, bluegills, perch, crappie, bass and a gino pipe. An awesome night fishing in an awesome spot to say the least. So that was a pretty cool discovery finding that sunken log. And uh, I'm excited to potentially sit maybe even shallower, maybe even right on top of the log. I kind of didn't want to sit right on top of it because I felt like maybe fish might be cruising up by that log, but more kind of by this break line, kind of like the backside of my fish house. But key baits, I got to give it up to the clam pro tackle pinhead, freaking horsed in that pike. And then the Elliott Rods Odyssey. This is an absolute workhorse. I can't believe I landed that on two pound test. But yeah, thank you guys. I'm enjoying winter camping so much and I'm enjoying the ice shanty and uh, the feedback in the comments have been so positive. So thank you, I appreciate it. And I guess there's nothing left to be said. Stay tuned and as always, for the adventure. Move ahead. Oh my pretty babe, something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead